Okay, I am liking this view. I got pillows everywhere. So it's going to be better when I do my blog because I got my girl in the back. And it's blurry. Every time I do that squirrel, it comes out perfect. Oh, a mosquito. A mosquito. I don't like mosquito. But what they be saying, they have diseases. Is it true? I'm going to turn the fan on anyway because I sleep with the fan on. Make sure it don't put its claw in me. Okay, but anywho, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. I like it. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to give it a try tomorrow. I'm going to blog tomorrow night. I know one lady told me she blog every Sunday. I'm blocking every night. I'm doing one every night, every chance I get. So that's going to be my background, which I'm going to do a little bit better. I'm just testing. That's all. Look who's in the back. Yes, a phenomenal woman. That's who she is. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. Look at the head. Look at the gorgeous bling in the black shirt. That's tight. I am loving my background. That's going to be my background for a while. Till I go on YouTube and order. Go on YouTube. Oh my freaking goodness. Go on Amazon and order me another background. Let's I go to Walmart and buy. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow after work. Go to Walmart and buy me some. I'll go to Joanne's and buy me another background. Buy me two more. So... I let it's getting blurry. I let that be my this be my background for this month and for the month of um June. Then I go back the, and switch it out. Um, and when I get done with it, I'm gonna add lights to it. I normally do the swirl around and then come back to focus. And I'm gonna go in um add lights to it. But I went on Amazon earlier today and I ordered me some lights to put on my phone so when I do my blog because this light is so damn it's I mean, it need to be bright they I went you know they looked at YouTube all day and they said you need to have bright lights so I will be going I ordered it I'll be going I ordered it you know so I can have me some lights and they should be in Tuesday and I'll do a blog about that as well when it comes in and I ordered a dress and I ordered these little as you can see these things here they are real but I would like for them to be they are lifted up now but I ordered the little bunny rabbit thing that you put on the front of them and lift it up you know when I be wearing unsupported bras sometimes I have some baggy baggy bras that I wear to work because I'm just going to work and um these are two two different color stripes stripes straps straps I'll get it right this don't even go with this bra but I put it with it just to be art just to have something to do because I was boring but anywho um yeah, I went to Amazon and ordered me some lights. I went on that to come in. I went on my dress to come in. All of that will be in, in Tuesday. Like I said, I'll do a video on that. And then I went to Wish and I ordered two more dresses. And I got a free little headband. That won't be here until June the 14th. Let me tell you something about Wish. 
The stuff is cheap, but the shipping that what gets you. They don't have that special thing that um, Amazon have Prime, which actually you I am paying. You do pay for Prime. Let me take that back. You do pay for Prime, but you do still you pay for your stuff to be shipped to you within two days. Wish don't have that. You don't get your stuff till two and three months later. This is why I hate dealing with Wish. But it was a two dresses I seen that I liked it. Um, and that's why I ordered it. So I get it June the 14th. Which I have plenty of dresses anyway. Because I love wearing dresses in the summertime. Why is that? Because I have little skinny legs. I wasn't blessed with thick legs. I wasn't blessed with a big butt. I was just blessed with being beautiful. And having big, big breasts. Oh, and I'll bless to have a big stomach. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going to lose that. I'm trying to save it. So if I decide I want to get my butt dead, I can take so much of this fat out my belly and put it in my butt. Yes. Now that's the route I'm going. Um, and my arms, they are fine. They're like, they used to be bigger than this, but they're a little flabby now. I'm a diabetic, so I take that metformin and it makes you lose weight, which I have lost. I weigh 152 pounds. I used to weigh 160. So, I'm trying to start at picking up weight. I have a procedure I have to get done at the end of this month. Go get my colon checked. Once I get done with that, I'm going to start back on my epitome. Epitome. It, I was on that epitome for about um, two months, and I did pick up weight, but I picked it up in my legs, and that was a good thing. Yay! I, my legs are starting getting a little bit big. Not much, but I can see the results of it when I measure it with my hand and stuff, and then now they don't got back skinny. But I'm going to get back on that epitome since it went to my legs, and I'm going to... I'm going to start eating better, you know, and um, working out, which I'm going to work out tomorrow night. And I'm going to go walking tomorrow night because I have to be to work at 11. Oh, poor Justin went off. But, um, yeah, I have to go get my colon checked. When you reach a certain age, you have to go get your colon checked. And I am at that age. So I'm hoping that everything is fine. And I can go from there. I can get my bread, got my breast checked. Got, I just had a lot of stuff. You know, your annually check that you have to have when you reach a certain age. I got all my eyes and all that good stuff. So this is just the last thing I got to get done until, I don't know, you get it done every year? Uh, every two years, three years, four years? I don't know. But my breasts, I would like to get done every year, you know. But, yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's just my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I wouldn't know. I was going to say something, but I don't have to say it because I wouldn't know. I would know the difference in my videos. But, anywho, go and subscribe to my channel. Hit like, please, for me. Hit that notification as well, so you'll know when I do a video. I already have one that I got to log tomorrow. And this here, I would do mm, Tuesday. Yeah, I would do that Tuesday. But... I don't have anything else to talk about. They tell you to have stuff to talk about. I don't have anything to talk about. Oh, yeah. Miss Quad. Miss Quad. Miss Quad. Miss Quad got a book that came out. And um, I'm going to pick it up, hopefully, by Wednesday or Thursday. It's a cookbook. And um, that's a beautiful black woman. That's one beautiful black woman. I'm going to tell you something. You don't have to be damn light-skinned to be cute or pretty. 
color ain't got nothing to do with it. Them some there's some beautiful dark black women's out there. I tell you, quite you's a beautiful woman. Yes, you are. Yes, but um, I'm going to order her her book. So I can know how to cook. And I'm pretty sure there's some healthy stuff in there. You know. Pretty sure. So. Yeah, go check out Clark's book. She didn't ask me to do this. Because I don't know that lady. But maybe one day I would get to meet her. I'm not for sure. Maybe. You know, God knows. I don't know. We may meet up when she come down here one day. Y'all, I may see her. Just rounding about. Don't know. Just like Miss Nene. She has her um a beauty. I'm gonna say a beauty. She has her beauty. And I think it's in Miami, which I am going there. I can't wait under the clothes because it for big women's big her women's her size, not big women's her size. And I'm a very small petite woman. So there may be some clothes in there, don't know, but I'm going. And hoping to meet her one day. You know, um, Rashida, she has her store. Um, it's doing well. And that's a beautiful lady as well. Nini's beautiful also. Phasia is beautiful. Candice, Tiny. All these ladies are beautiful. Uh, Monique. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful lady. Um, Steve, Harvey, Wari, Margie, Margie. Beautiful lady. Miss Opal. Beautiful lady. Whippy, beautiful lady. Michelle Obama. Beautiful. Um, Beyonce, Rihanna. So all, all these ladies are beautiful. All these ladies are beautiful. Um, they are black queens. We all are black queens, you know. And I would like to say that all ladies are queens. I better besides black. We know black is the queen, but all epic of God are queens. They are mothers. They are queens. How about that? How about that? So, I'm starving. I better do my Bible and look at TV for a while till I fall asleep. I'm not going back downstairs and eat because it's just too late. And I have to set my Alexa because I don't know what time it is because I'm on the phone. Alexa. See? I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section See? in your Alexa app. Alexa. Good night. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. I got them Alexa. Oh, well, it won't be tonight. But anywho, I hope you guys like my background. I'm hoping. Subscribe to my channel. Hit like. Comment if you like. Or if you hit subscribe and you want to talk about something. Leave me a comment. Let's start talking about some things. Let's start talking about women's coming together of all color, all races. Let's talk about how we feel. Let's talk about our children, our grandchildren, our daily activities. It got to be positive. We're not going to talk about nothing negative. We can talk about the boyfriend husband your girlfriends it gotta it, it gotta be it have to be positive it cannot be nothing negative i would not talk about nothing negative i would not talk about another woman we can just talk about our problems and let's come together and let's do a group a group therapy with me Yes, let's talk. Let's talk about us ladies. Let's talk about me and you. Let's talk about us ladies. Like I could sing. 
<laughs> I cannot sing. I cannot sing. I want to say something about calling me, but I'm not going to say it. But they said calling me don't like black women. So why call them? And I believe you do. I'm not going to even say you don't. But they say that that lady said that you don't like black chicks. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying what she said. That's all. And I want to give a shout out to Miss T. Madison. Woo! She got bags and bags and bags. I'm pretty sure she does. So, T. Madison, if you're coming strolling through and you see my um picture, subscribe to my channel. I would like to come and sit in the court supreme. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. And tell your mother, Miss Mira, say hello. <sighs> I am gone now, really. I got to get off of here because I'm sweating. I have hot flashes and it's not a joke. So, bye-bye. This is so freaking. I just hooked this up. Goodbye, guys. I love you. Mwah, mwah. Don't forget to pray. And I salute. Good night. Hey, YouTube. I got a view. I got the understanding of it. I will not be looking at the camera. I'm going to be looking up in this area. So I'm coming on here tonight. Just to bring up a couple of things that I want to talk about. And um, let me bring this closer to me. Number one, are y'all going to see the movie with Will Smith or Latin? I think that that's going to be a good movie. I am a fan of Aladdin. I like the um, the background of it, the effect, mainly the effects of it. Um, the effects is off the chain. It's nice. It looks good. I love it. I love it. I love the effects of it. So I will be going to see it. And sometimes I wonder when I'm having um, coffee tonight before I go to bed. I wonder sometime, being a star, do you do a movie just for the fun of it now and not the money because you you are at the level where um, you don't make enough money? I think it's some. I think enough is enough. Um, oh, you just doing it for the fun of fun of it now? You di like say for instance, Mr. Will Smith. And I'm way older than you, so I'm still going to respect, respect you. Um, you, uh, I guess a million, I, I know a millionaire. I don't know about a billionaire. You maybe don't know because I don't know your um, account information. I don't know your bank money. But, I'm looking at Port of Justice. But, um. Are you filming now for um the um fun? Just just to be still acting in the um movie, or is it for the money? Because nothing else that you need, nothing that you should want, because you have it, you can go and buy it. All these nice trips you can go on and walk in the store and buy whatever you want. Miss Jada, she has the red table, and it's going very well, and I love it. I never get a chance to um, look at it, because um, I don't know what channel it come on, um, and what time it come on, but I will be Googling it and find out what's the time, and you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start looking at it. But that movie... I love it. Haven't seen it yet. Just seen um, previews of it. Yes. When it hit on the 24th, I will be going to see it. Now, moving along. My second thing I want to talk about. 
Job. Kevin Hart. Come, coming in. Why are you not? Why are you didn't bring your show back? Um, Hollywood, husband of Hollywood, real husband of Hollywood. What happened? What happened, Mr. Hart? I missed that show. You did your little episodes and you never returned back. I think it was a good show. I really did. I miss. I'm, I looked at it tonight because I miss it. I only looked. I looked at like maybe two or three shows, and I just look at more as the week go by because I have to go to work in the morning. So you know, I do have to have to. I have. To, I have. To, can't even get it out. I have to go to work in the morning. I do that. But yes. And I did say I was going to touch up on the subject of being racist. But I don't feel like talking about it. It's not going to do any good. Honestly, it's not. So I don't even feel like talking about it. Damn if you do and damn if you don't. I know it's a sad situation. Sad. It's sad that it, it's still going on. It's sad that the cops is still shooting these young black guys, and it's just sad. It's, it's very sad. You don't hear about cops shooting white boys, teenager boys, or uh, going to the school, slamming them on concrete, and beating them up, and you don't you don't hear that type of stuff. You may hear about um, the white kids going to the school, shooting each other. I mean, shooting at other other people, and um, my prayers are with the family on that. But you don't hear about white cops beating up on white kids. You hear about them beating up on our boys, though, you know. And I just pray. I have um, two teenagers, grim boys. There's 18. Um, they work. I just hope that God keep them, you know, in his fence. Keep his arm wrapped around them and protect them. To where they don't have to be in that kind of situation. And um, I have some more grand boys, but they're smaller at, this, at the moment. So, therefore, they won't be out in the streets. But my two oldest boys, they hang out with their friends and stuff and work and everything. But my little boys, they just 12 and on down. 12 all the way down to 6. Because I have 10 grand boys. So, I hope they get... Better with this killing. You cops, some of you are some good guys out there, and some of you are just have that evilness in you the way you was brought up and raised not to like black people. You get so angry, you know, till you take it out on the black kids, you know. And these parents don't want to sue the school and the police department. They want their kids to live. You know, have kids. Have a happy life. Just like these white kids. You know? So why must you kill our boys? Just like you slam that little boy, that little teenager, that white cop. Slam that little boy on the concrete. Beat his head in the concrete till you split the side of his head open. Why? He wasn't resisting you. Why? Why must you be so evil and hateful? I, I don't understand. Would you take a little white boy and slam him? Oh, hell no. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't even tase him. You would go walk up to him and talk to him. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. It's on the stand. So I pray for my boys and other boys of other um, colors, whether they black, white, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Nigerian, Ghana, whatever. I pray for them. I pray for them. So I am at eight minutes and some seconds, eight minutes and some seconds.
I'm not gonna. You don't have that much longer. Because I have to do my Bible study. I do Bible study by myself. I don't go to um, church on Wednesday to do Bible study. I do. Just look at this. Oh, it's blue. Why would she say that? Why? He gonna slap her? Is he gonna slap her? <coughs> Whoa! Oh. The ground she hit. The ground she went down on. But. That's a sad thing. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. And it's going to take time. And I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Until I at least get. I'm, I'm just asking for a hundred. If not a hundred, at least give me fifty. Uh, excuse me. Please give me 50 or 60, 60 like. I got my grandkids and my children on here, my daughters. They, um, my, some of my subscribers. They are my subscribers, not some. Um, so I just need some more subscribers. I got my calendar going, which I'm about to blow it up. Because I don't want it to burn down the house. But anywho, I am about to go. I didn't go nowhere today. Like I said, I was going to go. I said I was going to go to the movies. I said I was going to the store. I said I was going swimming. I didn't do none of it. Nah. I just stayed, stayed in the house and stayed on YouTube and ate. But now it's 10 o'clock. I'm about to get ready. Wrap it up. Go to bed. That's what I'm about to do, you guys. Hell yes. But anyway, don't forget to L-I-K-E, like, plus subscribe, plus comment, equals notification on that bell. And most in all, most in all, I love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to pray and I salute you. Have a good night.